the Polar Express Magic Mountain disappearing train layout. Our train layout tries to mimic part of the movie The Polar Express. And the movie begins at the Hero Boy's house where he is picked up by the train rumbling through in the middle of the night. And after he gets on, of course, he's at a point where he's not sure if he believes in Santa. And as he starts out, the train travels past Herpelsheimer's department store. And if we look in the window here, we'll see that there is a mechanical Santa, which furthers his belief that there may not really be a real Santa. And the train continues its travels around the tracks. <clears throat> eventually arriving at Billy's house which is on the other side of the tracks little Billy boards and finally they start on this magical journey to the North Pole on the way they're stopped by a herd of caribou in the tracks and they continue through a big tunnel and into the mountain and through the mountains <clears throat> through a roller coaster ride up and down there are wolves to chase and even an eagle flying to its nest high atop the mountain. The Northern Lights Waterfall. A little science lesson here. The theory that you heard back in high school about the origin of the Northern Lights unfortunately is not true. If you watch here, we'll show you the true origin of the Northern Lights. Three of Santa's elves are on a bridge high above the waterfall, each with a bucket of magic paint. You can see the colors and the sparkles. And as they pour those into the waterfall, you see the waterfall illuminate brightly with colors as it splashes down into the pond below, which again reflects all of the colors from the Northern Lights. The night sky is where these lights are become visible to us as they're reflected from the lake and the waterfall below. And it's the true story of the Northern Lights. When the train finally arrives at the North Pole and comes out through the last tunnel, the visitors are treated to the wonder of the North Pole, a very magical village, including Santa's house, a workshop where the elves are making presents, various other buildings where the elves eat and sleep and work and do other elf things. When the conductor checks his watch, he finds out that it's five minutes to midnight. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Over here, the elves have all gathered because tonight is Christmas Eve. And this is the night that Santa makes his wonderful journey. The elves are handmade. I think there are 205 on the layout. Each one made from pipe cleaners and beads. Hand-painted faces, all different ethnic backgrounds represented. This scene shows Santa giving the first gift of Christmas as a hand car with Elves that can barely reach the floor go scurrying by. Santa eventually gets into his sleigh with his reindeer and takes off and circles the Christmas tree several times before leaving the North Pole to deliver all of his gifts. There are two trains on the layout a fictitious freight train, and if you watch, there are two parallel ovals of track. On the outside track is the freight train, which circles around the town, past Billy's house, goes into the mountain, and then emerges on the other side. Where it arrives at the North Pole, circles around the North Pole, and we'll watch one more time here around the town, into the mountain, and then we'll see before it completely disappears that it emerges on the other side. 
On the inside oval of track is the Polar Express train. And if you watch its journey, you'll see that it is similar but not the same. It goes around the town, past Billy's house, goes into the mountain, and emerges from... No, it's not emerging from the mountain. Where is it going? It's gone. It's disappeared. It's in the... Oh no, there it comes. It's finally coming out of the mountain. Well, now how can a train that is probably eight feet long disappear into a mountain that's only three feet long? Let's watch this again. Around the town, into the mountain, and as you see it disappearing, it should be emerging from the other side, but it's not. It's gone. It's completely swallowed up by the mountain. Oh, and there it comes finally. Again, how could a train that long fit into that mountain? Lionel fans may or may not recognize a former Rico station, which has been modified, complete with a greenhouse, many decorations, garland, bows, tied by hand on toothpicks and applied to all the windows. Uh, one of the elves had a problem with Santa, and unfortunately is going to spend Christmas Eve sitting in Santa's timeout chair. Where the trains enter the mountain. See if we can watch her as they come around. And freight train into the mountain. And we look over the top here and see it emerging from the other side. It goes to Polar Express in. <clears throat> and then it's entirely swallowed up. There's no Polar Express. So eventually, it comes out on the other side. On this side we'll get a better view. Both trains are going around the town. The Polar Express is in the tunnel and should be coming out, but isn't. Here comes the freight train. And eventually the Polar Express. So we circle around. Both go into the tunnel at the same time. So obviously they should both be coming out at the same time, but not so. Only the freight train and eventually the Polar Express. Nighttime on the layout. Trains going into the tunnel. <clears throat> past the Northern Lights waterfall. And again, only the one train comes out. Well, eventually it's joined by the Polar Express. Santa's tree is spectacular at night. Mountain disappearing train layout. And Santa flies off. Though I've grown old, the bell still rings for me as it does for all who truly believe. And that's the secret of how the train disappears. If you truly believe, the train will always emerge at the North Pole.